What's up, chaps and chappets? Welcome back to another Tryouts Road to Glory video. My goodness me, this team is OP as you like. Currently unbeaten, meta team. Very good meta team. Lots of pace in the defense up front as well. And the 4 1 2 1 2 really seems to be working well for me. So, this center back here, he didn't cost me anything. And look at the stats that you can get him to with a shadow. Get, he's already 89 strength. And then this chap here, you basically get up to around. You get both of these players in center back up to like 90 pace and uh, around about 89 strength and then 85 as well. Inaki Williams, just another example of an OP meta player with a marksman chem stars. So um, we, we actually do switch party into that CDM slot. Kondogbi is going to be on the left center mid slot and then Was on the right hand side. And it ends up being like a really good. Um, midfield to be fair solid physicality is exactly what you need you've got up front you've got a mixture of physical as well as pace Inaki Williams is well basically both of those but Muriel as well uh, just pure pace and I don't know the defense especially for me it just it just feels way too OP it is actually incredible both these players barely cost anything and they're doing they don't they are literally just doing absolutely bits um, as you can see just getting the ball back this chap is just crazy. I think... I don't know which one it is out of the two, but one of them has like 89 strength from the get-go. So you could just go all out pace, get the shadow chem style, and he's got like 94 standing tackling, 90 sprint speed. Like, what more do you actually need? Like, at that point, it's like... It makes you wonder why they aren't much more. I think if they were in the Premier League, then they'd be much more. So... I think there are quite a couple of OP players this year in the Bundesliga, which I definitely would recommend. Also, Ben Yedot is doing... I said it last time, but he's doing absolute bits. I'm not going to lie. He has been sick, but um, we go 2-1 down here. This guy's actually decent. He had that Lucas card, the SBC. I think it was only like 40k as well to do that SBC. It might well have been worth it, but... Um, don't know. We're going to give it a miss, to be honest. I think he's got like three-star weak foot. Uh, he has got four stars. It, like, it's a good card, but... I don't know. I just can't be arsed with him. Like, this team we've got is good enough already. And um, he's kind of, like, similar to Muriel in a way, to be honest. So we don't really need him. So we end up getting a 2-2. Inaki Williams saved us there. Nice little free ball to him. And he gets a touch. So uh, we're up against Rip the Dream. I'm not sure. Like, I don't know whether he's really going to put a stop to this team. I'm not going to lie. I don't think it's stopping anytime soon. Look at that. Ball into the box. Inaki Williams. And, uh, I mean, that maybe is the marksman chem star. He's got sick jumping. We're talking like 90 jumping, something like that. Uh, he takes a shot from distance and Perisic bangs it in. I have to say, Perisic in the past for me on Ultimate Team has been sick. Like really, really, really good. In fact, he was part of a team. I think that was an inform left wing Perisic back on FIFA 17. That was what uh, got me to top 100. And he was one of the main players. I started off with a 4 3 3 and switched it to a 4 1 2 1 2 in game as we score a banging passing goal. We, like, sometimes you do need that bit of composure just to get the passing going, the little 1 2s. Uh, triangle plays as well. It is a bit more difficult than it was on FIFA 18, admittedly, but um, I don't know. It takes a bit more skill. You have to think about it a bit, a bit more. You have to be a bit more um, aware of, like, taking heavy touch and stuff like that. As we get the ball here, Ben Yedder cuts inside and. Uh, Tucks it away. Like, he's just so good on the ball. I think close center of gravity certainly makes him uh, tough to get off a ball. Like, really hard to contend with. A lot of people think it's all about strength. But really, balance is such a key factor in uh, being able to hold off people in real life as well as also in the games. So, rank three. We're not doing too bad right now. I mean, literally, we have not lost a game with this team. Um, before this, obviously, we had that 4-4-2 Bundesliga team. And then with this team, it's kind of just like that bit more meta. Trying out the 4 one 2, one, two. Um, There isn't a single player in there that I think doesn't doesn't suit the meta of the game. Uh, Mind of voice break there. My goodness. You know, we've got pace everywhere. We've got strength everywhere. It's just banging. Um, apart from Rafinha, who we do sub off in game. Uh, when he is playing, he sometimes starts as a right back. I think when we have Taliso in. Might have been because I had a red card for a player like Party or something. Um... But Taliso is a really good kind of like super sub midfielder to have in there. Uh, just as good as the other midfielders, basically. He's just as good. He's, he's sick. Muriel gets a goal late on. This guy was actually pretty decent. And the thing is, is that, you know, there are going to be people that play defensively in the weekend league. We're playing quite an aggressive 
play style at the moment, but there are the odd the odd game, you know, the odd occasional game is going to be the defensive, you know, sit cozy four two three one. And in those games, you do have to sort of play it patient. Uh, you have to keep your headspace and just keep creating chances at the end of the day, because you know that if you can keep creating chances, like you're going to score one of them. As Ben Yedder just gets the ball here, look at this. I love the I love just dribbling with that chat, but he gets wrecked there. Um, but look at that defensively, like just regurgitating possession, kind of like we did yesterday with uh, the Guardiola tactics. They get it again. We get the ball straight back again. Taliso gives it to Ben Yedo. Onto Was. Lovely little drag back. Takes a deflection. That's a bit of an oof. But I don't know. Like, it almost deserves to be a goal anyway. It might have gone in the other in the other corner. But Ben Yedo. I do actually find it pretty sick. Um, how they've kind of made it so that when you do shoot. And then there's a player in a viable position to finish off that shot in a better way. Um, then you can actually do that. Because in previous games, when you shoot, players will kind of like ignore it. Because it is a shot rather than a cross. Uh, so I like that players actually react when a, a shot is in their vicinity and they can sort of improve on it. So um, division rivals were doing pretty well. We also log on the next, I think it's like the next couple of days or something, three days later or something like that. Um, we get our rewards because obviously we've got the ultimate edition of the game. Get a couple of packs. Not really expecting anything from it, to be honest. You know, pick up a couple extra coins every week. We'll take it. But who knows, like, there's seven rares. You could get, I mean, one of these weeks. I don't know how many. I think it might be like 40 packs. So, you know, two a week, 20 weeks. It's going to be decent. Like, maybe one of the players um, that we get from this could get us some coins. Easy dubs. Um, so, yeah. I don't know what I want about that. Easy dubs. <laughs> I mean, I'm not playing Fortnite. Like, that literally is easy. Well, to be fair, 41212, it certainly is easy dubs for us right now. We're just, we're slapping everyone. So... Uh, getting into the next game, we're up against Kevin De Bruyne's own uh, squad. I don't know whether it's his actual account. I don't know whether he plays a game. But squad battles, I actually, to be honest, I regret not playing more squad battles. Uh, definitely the first two weeks, I should have done that. Could have, could have got a lot more coins. And also, Foot Champions is coming up this weekend. There's major hype for Foot Champions, no doubt about that. Uh, that is going to be our main focus really for the road to glory in general but um especially this weekend going into this weekend that is going to be our main focus to get a, a strong finish it's only 30 games now which i find is decent as well um so squad battles is kind of going to get brushed aside a bit we'll see how many games we could get done i personally i don't understand why squad battles is 45 games 45 like why don't they just make it four games a day why do we have to make it so that on the weekend there's so many games, but, you know, we're chasing top 100 on squad battles. Uh, just, I, don't, I think I was playing late at night, so I was kind of just like, oh, let's see if we could get into a top 100 type thing. That would be kind of cool. Um, I think I only played like two or three though or something, so I still need to continue with that. But uh, Wass giving it to your boy. Taliso slotting it through. A little bit lucky. It falls for Anarchy Williams. We'll certainly take that every single day of the week. I'll start to get to the finishing as well, because squad battles is kind of a good... Um, good place to practice. However, I would actually say the Visions Rivals is... I have, to, I have to give credit where credit's due at the end of the day. Like, I've I've said a lot about EA in the past, you know, about FIFA and stuff like that. But the Visions Rivals is a great game mode. Like, it enables you to practice for Foot Champions so well because it's genuinely quite difficult to, to go up the ranks, I think. Even though I haven't actually played that many... Uh, I haven't played that many games as Was just bangs it in there. Um, yeah, I haven't really played many games, but... I've heard that, like, once you get to the higher ranks, you, you start playing, like, pros and stuff and really high-tier players all the time, which is going to be great practice for foot champions. So I do intend to play a lot more of that as we get Elite 1 on uh, Squad Battles to switch back to the party uh, in centre mid. And a hell of a party it is too, you know. Um, we're flexing up squad fitness cards. I've got to be getting those all the time. Can't be asked to get two teams, to be honest. If you're going for um, foot champs and stuff, I wouldn't recommend having two teams. But we basically, if you didn't see there, we just turned on the trainer. Uh, because I basically just wanted to improve my shooting. Trainer is a really good way. I think, to be honest, I think, I personally feel like the game is almost designed for the trainer. One one reason I think that is, if you, like, think about the goal kicks. You can't move your camera at all. Whereas with, like, this little arrow, you can see exactly where the goal kick is going to go. As we get a banger there. Um... 
don't know where... I think shot elevation. We had the shot elevation uh, setting on as well as the power bar you can see to work on the time finishing. Don't know whether the shot elevation was worth doing. Probably. I don't know. I think I accidentally left that on. Um, but at the end of the day, I was banging them in. I was very... Like, my finishing really went up in um, consistency. Like, my, I was just much more consistent. I was putting it in near post. I was just picking off, like, difficult shots. Um... So one thing I really would recommend and what I've kind of learned about shooting in the game, you you kind of pick it up just through the um, the power bar and stuff like that and just the way that the time of shooting works, is it basically is FIFA 9... or FIFA previous FIFAs, there wasn't really much punishment. Actually, I do need to say here, we tried to waste time and we can see the goal like that. AI The AI are ridiculously OP when it comes to crossing. Do not let the AI cross the ball in because it's just ridiculous. But... Um, yeah, basically, the shooting in previous FIFA games, it punished you much more for um, actually, like, spamming B and stuff, whereas now you have to time it, like, properly. Just make sure you're pressing B exactly when you want to shoot. So when the ball is in the right place and press it exactly when you want to shoot. But other than that, Chaps and Chapets, that is going to be the end of the video. We're going to press on with squad battles into the next video, see if we can get that top 100 placement. But yeah, I'll see you, Chaps and Chapets, on the next one. My goodness me. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, I'll just flex the chap. Carrying the squad like a backpack with the strap. My powers double, yours is silly tool. Fraud and two it in a jewel. What you doing here, fool? Trust. You at the top like Snowden. I'm at the top like Everest. Quick scope, yeah, I never miss. Just flexing the squad, they hella piss. 